I was 13, I was uh, a bit of a chunk. <laughs> I used to play football, um, but I was a goalkeeper, so obviously, you know, at that age, most uh, goalkeepers are the fat kid. So um, I wanted to do something to get fit, and then um, my dad died from cancer at the beginning of 2009, so I started boxing towards the end of that year. And yeah, that's, that's the main reason why, just to make him proud and get fit as well. Just turned 17, uh, I was diagnosed with Hodgkin's lymphoma, which is the same cancer that my dad had. Basically what that is, it's, oh, it's been so long now, cancer of the white blood cells, I think. And um, basically, I had a five by six inch tumor in the middle of my chest, pressing on my heart, and I also had a bit of uh, a tumour up in my neck as well. So yeah, 17 years old and just been diagnosed with Hodgkin's lymphoma. I'm Tyler White, 20 years old, and I'm a boxer and kickboxer for ARD training camp in Aldershot. Um, and my biggest achievement to date is probably winning the English Kickboxing Championship and passing the Elite Fighter Selection course. I won my first four fights I had, so that's a start. Then obviously I got ill. So overcoming cancer is quite a big achievement for me. I come back from my illness and I kickboxed in the English Open Championships and um, I won that against guys that are again more experienced and heavier than me because um, I went in a weight category heavy um, and I won that. So that was less than 18 months I think after finishing chemo I won the English title. And then obviously I come back fighting at uh, the beginning of this year. I, got to the final of the British Championships where I lost. So I come second, still got a silver medal in that, um, but I also qualified for the Great Britain kickboxing squad. So I'm competing at the World Championships at the end of the year. I've lost a fair fair few fights. I lost my comeback fight, um, first fight back after all my chemo and stuff, uh, which was hard to deal with, but at the end of the day, I just used it and thought next time I'm not gonna lose. And ever since that fight, all well, those fights have just come back and just working a lot harder and smarter. If I can win the World Championships uh, this year, that's obviously one world title. I'll just keep trying to win as many as I can. I'd like to be a British, European and world champion, but I just want to keep improving, keep progressing and keep learning and just keep, keep building. You know, the gyms obviously aren't the most glamorous places, but I wouldn't want to be anywhere else to be honest. I'd rather be doing this for work than be stuck in an office doing something I'm not happy doing you know, for the rest of my life. I just love it, <laughs> really. Um, sounds a bit weird to a lot of people, you know, getting punched kicking the head. But the idea is you don't. Um, but yeah, no, I just enjoy it so much and it's making me be a better person, um, always improving. And I've always wanted to be the best at something. And um, I guess this is what I want to be the best at now. For me, obviously getting ill and coming out the other side, it's um, done nothing but motivate me to just keep going. And when sessions are hard or fights are hard, you just dig that little bit deeper and get the most out of yourself. It just makes you sort of realise that life's too short to not pursue your dreams. Just persist. Don't give up and fall at you know, hurdles. They're meant to be put there to make the journey more satisfying when you, you know, reach the end. Um, so yeah, just persist with whatever you want to do. Bite the bullet and just throw yourself into it. Don't hold back.